you don't think about the victim at all? Who? I didn't say anything. I ain't no victim. I mean, not you. I got, I got caught. I'm just ready to go get this process so I can bond out. County ended with more than 100 people in handcuffs accused of preying on women and minors. Now, when I say the phrase trafficking, who do you picture as a victim? Maybe a troubled teenager, a runaway? How about a three month old baby? It took six days for the sheriff's office to find 108 people trying to buy or sell in Polk County. Every country is affected by trafficking, and as a result, children are forced to drop out of school, risk their lives, and are deprived what every child deserves, a future. The Shayla's Ferguson missing flyers started making rounds the first week in August after Orlando police said that the then 15-year-old was reported missing. According to reports, the Shayla ran away the day before she was supposed to show up in court for a trafficking case. The young girl was nowhere to be found until two months later, she was found deceased in a random Orlando home driveway. The Shayla Ferguson was 16 years old and lived in Orlando, Florida. Shay, as her friends and family called her, was described as outgoing, funny, and lovable. According to reports, the Shayla was smart and stylish. The young teen also enjoyed spending time with friends and family. Sadly, the young teen was also faced with unforeseen dangers in her life that no one should have to bear. According to reports, DeShayla was a ward of the state because she was involved in a human trafficking case in Orange County. The teen was also in the care of the Florida Department of Children and Families. The teen was part of an Orlando police missing persons case after she disappeared from a DCF office on South Kirkman Road on August 12th. The Orlando Police Missing Persons report shows she was under the care of DCF and being transferred from Seminole County to Orange County. A report from the Office of the Inspector General that analyzed data from child welfare agencies nationwide found from September 29, 2020 to July 27, 2021, Florida had nearly 12% of all the cases of missing foster children that's about 13,000. The Sheila was also a ward of the state because she was involved in a human f***ing case in Orange County. She was set to appear in court August 13th. The plan was to take the teen to a foster home for the night. She never made it. In the report, it states she was argumentative with DCF staff and exited the building. She wasn't seen again. The two employees that were responsible for her said that they went to look for her but came back empty-handed. And unfortunately, that was the last time authorities saw her. That was up until October 24, 2022, when the team was found deceased in a neighborhood and no one seems to know her. Well, guys, Orlando police have confirmed that the 16-year-old DeShayla Ferguson, who was found shot and f***ed yesterday, is indeed the same DeShayla Ferguson who was reported missing here in Orlando back in August. Now, what happened between the time she went missing and the time she was found shot and f***ed remains a mystery, and her killer remains out there. According to reports, on Monday, October 24, 2022, multiple people in an Orange County neighborhood recalled hearing shots around 7 p.m. One neighbor recalled hearing an argument between some people outside of a home about an hour before shots were fired. So I most, mostly when I lay down so I heard one shot, boom. So I stay quiet, you know, because sometimes you worry for more or something like that. So I don't hear nothing more. They only heard some people screaming. That's it. Once officers arrived, investigators said that they saw a body of a teenager near a car in the driveway. That teen was identified as 16-year-old DeShayla Ferguson, and she was pronounced deceased at the scene. Orange County investigators could be seen talking with a person at the home and searching the property into the early morning hours. However, no one at that home was arrested for the crime that night. Maria, the neighbor we spoke with, said she doesn't know the people who live at that house, but was sad to learn the victim 
was so young. I feel him bad. I feel him bad because I have a granddaughter, but this age, you know, 16 years old, so. Because this is an open investigation, they couldn't disclose whether there were any suspects or a person of interest in the case, nor could they disclose who they notified about the teenager's death. Both Orange and Seminole County Public Schools reported that Shayla never attended a school at either district during the time that she went missing. Neighbors in the area that she was found said that they were often seeing teens hanging around at the house and riding bikes up and down the street. However, the neighbors weren't sure if they would be able to recognize if one of those teens were the Shayla. I'm horrified and it's devastating. Please stop the violence. You know, we want to live safely in our homes without any problems. Spectrum News 13 reached out to DFAX for a comment about her disappearance, but they haven't responded yet to their inquiry. According to the reports, the Metropolitan Bureau of Investigations was investigating the human trafficking case she was involved in. In a statement by the NBI, they said they couldn't confirm further information about the case due to her confidential rights as a victim. At this time, this case is still under investigation. As of Tuesday afternoon, police said in a statement that the homicide detectives are working diligently to find and arrest her killer. This is a very sad situation, and I work with a lot of kids that are in the system. They have to do a better job with protecting kids when it comes to cases this severe and this serious. I will continue to keep my thoughts and prayers with her friends and family during this time. You guys, let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this case. Again, make sure you stay aware and stay alert this month. Let's please respect the victim and the family in the comments. I love you guys dearly, and with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones.